Uh, if you don't care why I'm making this, uh, then skip to the time code that you see. Uh, otherwise, let's get some uh, let's get some backstory, shall we? What's with all the bunny hopping and jumping? It's a boots on the ground. Sure, this isn't advanced warfare or Black Ops Three. Jumping doesn't do anything. It makes you look stupid and signifies how much of a sweat you are. I can't wait till they release the nerf to jumping. It doesn't make any sense why you should get an advantage just because you like spamming X, A, or spacebar. Now, for you, those of you who have a, an IQ above 15, you would have noticed here, he says that this isn't Advanced Warfare or Black Ops 3. Jumping doesn't do anything, and then later on proceeds to say... Why should you get an advantage just because you like spamming spacebar? So it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I replied saying it's a movement sure. Uh, he then obviously replied to me again. It's not a movement sure. <laughs> if it were a movement based sure, one or more of the classes would accentuate or boost your movement speed. None of them do that. In fact, other than the game mode hotshot, there is no movement boost. Movement is dependent on both the player and the gun used. Nothing about this game screams movement. Bunny hopping and overall just an overall just jumping is a toxic and unnecessary feature in the game. It makes you look retarded. You look like a sweating fag and guarantee you can't out gun play someone without jumping because you're uh, the wrong one absolutely garbage and that's why you only need to defend jumping fags but also one of them. Uh, so he left another comment after that, which was like probably three times as long, uh, that had a lot more weird things in it. And then he left another one after that, which kind of said the same thing. I don't really know. He just kind of spammed a bunch of comments that said the same thing. It was lame. Anyway, let me show you how to move in this game. Okay, I want this video to be short and sweet. So if you look in the top left, you will see how difficult the movement tech is. Basically, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to tell you what it's called, I'm going to show you an example, I'm going to tell you how to do it. That is all. Anyway, let's start with the easiest thing first, let's look at air strafing. There's a couple of different kinds of air strafing, there are short strafes, wide strafes, and circle strafes, for the most part. Essentially, all you're going to do is you're going to sprint, and when you jump, you will look the direction you want to go and hold W. It is that simple. To do wider strafes or shorter strafes, you can choose to use directional keys as well. For example, if you were to jump and then hold W and A as you turned left, you would obviously tighten your strafe as you have more direction to the left. If you were to jump, hold W and A again, but look right, you would get a wide strafe. Okay, now we're going to look at bunny hopping. This is probably the second biggest part of movement in this game, and you'll be using it a lot. There are a lot of different kinds of bunny hopping, some being obviously more difficult than others, but for the most part, you need to know how to do all of these. Firstly, there is the regular b-hop, which is where you jump, and then on your landing, you jump again. That is literally it. That is just what a regular b-hop is. There is slide hopping, where once you come out of a slide, you jump to end your slide, and as you land, you b-hop again. That is a slide hop. Super easy. There are direction change hops, where essentially what you're going to do is, when you commit to a bunny hop, instead of continuing in the same direction you were when you initially went off on your bunny hop, for example, let it be forward, instead, when you hit the ground to initiate your bunny hop, as you hit the ground, you will direction change into whatever direction you want. Let's say you were holding W. As you land, you will then hold A, S, or D, and then commit to a bunny hop in that direction. It will give you an instant momentum shift. It will put all of that momentum you built into your first bunny hop into your second one, letting you change direction extremely fast off of a bunny hop. Uh, the next thing are fight hops. These are basically just bunny hops that you do mid-fight. This is typically when you're holding ADS, but you don't have to. Essentially, it's the jump spam that people hate, but essentially it's just direction changes while you're ADS. Uh, you just spam B-hop over and over again. You can continue to go one way or change it up another way, but that's basically it. super easy. Okay, now the last kind of B-hopping is definitely the most difficult and not necessary to learn, but it's useful if you want to use it. It's called chain hopping, where essentially what happens is you will slide, you're essentially doing a slide hop, but instead of committing to the last bunny hop like you do for other hops, you would essentially commit to the slide again. So you're sliding, jumping out of your slide, and then landing into a slide, and then jumping out of it. And you can chain it together very quickly. It's mostly used for going at a sprint speed or a full b-hop speed, but 
when in like the crouch position so you're able to like slide around corners but like super wide swing because you're keeping all your momentum through your slides basically the way you do this is and now i use hold sprint and hold crouch which makes it the easiest to do it's possible on toggle but it's easier on hold you will hold the sprint key you will run forward and commit to your slide. Once you start sliding, you will continue to hold your sprint key and your crouch key, and then you will jump and you will just continue to do that over and over again. You will hold the sprint key and the crouch key the whole time, you don't let go, but you continue to jump uh, and continue to do multiple slide hops. Basically, this is easier to do if you are strafing in a certain direction. So if you're holding W and A or W and D, it's significantly easier. You'll get way more hops. If you were just going in a straight line, you will slow down way faster. So if you're going uh, left or right with it while holding W, A or W, D, you're going to get about six, seven, maybe eight hops if you're lucky. If you're going in a straight line, you're only likely to get about three or four. So use it however you think you should. Okay, now we have the most fundamental part of the movement in this game, which is understanding pistol switches. Pistol switches are essentially just taking out your pistol to get your capped speed to its maximum. Different pistols have different capped speeds, it doesn't matter. For example, let's say you're running with like an M249, which is very heavy, you're going to run very slowly. If you take out your pistol, you're going to run much faster. You can probably understand the implication of this. If you're doing a lot of the movement techs with, say, your M249, you might be doing those techs very slowly. But if you take out your pistol, you're obviously going to go significantly faster. This is basically essential in every movement mechanic. It just makes everything more fluid. And understanding when to pistol switch and how to do it efficiently is, of course, extremely important. Though, just to make it as simple to understand as possible, it's literally just taking your pistol out to increase your sprint speed. Okay, now we're talking about mantle techs. There are two kinds, at least two kinds that are important. There are more. Anyway, there's a low wall hop and a high wall hop. Basically, uh, there are two different vault types in this game. You have, when you are vaulting kind of like a lower wall, you will vault on top of it and the animation is far faster. And you have higher walls where when you vault on top of them, it's much slower. Basically, all a low wall hop is and a high wall hop is is when you mantle on top of something you're going to immediately b hop out this gives a direction change but it keeps all your speed so it's super useful if you're fighting because you, there are types of mantle text where you get suction where a suction is essentially what happens is when you're going for the mantle there is a maximum distance between you and the thing you're trying to mantle where if you just hit the edge of that and commit to the mantle it will teleport you from the very edge of the i guess collision box of where you are on top of the mantle so if you're using this mid fight you may be able to run up to a mantle get the suction go on top of it hit a low wall or high wall hop off of it and you basically just win your fight for free it's super easy to do it's literally just running up to it and vaulting on top of it and as you're vaulting you're going to look in whatever direction you want and you're going to bunny hop out okay now we are at the most complicated part of the video but i will try to make it as simple to understand as possible because this is a super vital tech now we're on to e slides slash greed slides there are two kinds there's a standard e slide slash greed slide and there is a perfect e slide slash greed slide essentially to make it as simple to understand as possible an e slide is an efficiency slide where you're making your slides as efficient as possible basically you're going to run with your primary out you're going to switch to your pistol so you're going to do a pistol switch you're then either going to jump into a slide or just commit to a slide you will then slide hop out of your slide and as you are jumping out of your slide, you will re-equip your primary and you will commit to a bunny hop afterwards to ignore the kind of like buggy crouch system where sometimes when you land after a b-hop, it will stick you in crouch. You don't want to do that, so you will b-hop so that doesn't happen. The next kind is the perfect green slide or e-slide, where basically you will do exactly what you did before except you're only getting the momentum from the pistol instead of actually equipping it. So what you're going to do is you're going to do exactly what I said before. You're going to run with your primary out. You're going to swap to your pistol. But as you are swapping to your pistol, you will realize there is a slight speed boost that you get from having your pistol equipped before your pistol is actually equipped. That's a very small window. You will then commit to the slide when you hit this window, 
and then re-equip your primary and then commit to a slide hop where basically you're able to do a, an e-slide without actually equipping your pistol which means you're able to shoot basically all the way through it the point of this is so that you get your primary up significantly faster but are still able to do the e-slide slash grease slide and maintain full speed throughout it while being able to keep your gun up a problem with the e-slide is that when you are doing it you are pretty vulnerable because you're gonna have your pistol out so if you do a perfect one you're gonna have your gun out the whole time and you're always ready to fight anyway that was just the core fundamentals of movement in this game uh you don't need to know all of them but it's obviously better if you do uh if it's still a little bit complicated and you're not fully understanding how serena mechanics work uh then you can join my discord through the the link in the description as well and i can explain it easier there or you can leave a comment and i'll try and explain it there as well uh, anyway thanks for watching guys Mwah. goodbye